Now this is the big high retaining stone wall and you think well how you know this is it's going to be wet because ground levels up there somewhere and this is what 20 foot or something uh, but this is the problem of using weatherproof paint silicon paints and things and you can see here that this this stuff is it's almost like cauliflower it's horrible efflorescent yuck and in between times it's 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 almost sounding it is hollow so if you start hacking this off this is this is just it falls off and this is plastic masonry paint that some idiots put over the top and it's trapping moisture everywhere into the mortar into the stone see how easily it comes off it's just awful and behind that it's quite soft but perfectly okay lime mortar with lovely stonework you can see that that stone starting to appear um, and further across here I've uncovered a little bit that gives you a bit of history to it and I've chipped a bit off and you can see even a blue colour so it's been lime washed over the years and again you you chip off this this yuck and you can see little fragments of blue wherever you chip all the rubbish off you can see that base coat look at that look at the colour of it isn't that beautiful that's lovely old Georgian paint fantastic um, I think this actually, if you look at the, the base on the floor here, a little square, so it was probably the dunny, the thunderbox, and uh, they lime washed it in a nice blue colour inside the thunderbox. But yeah, just bear in mind that, you know, this stuff, um, the reason it's turning into cauliflower is because there's moisture in here trying to get out and the paint's trapping it. So the sooner you get all this cauliflower paint off, this modern masonry paint, the sooner the whole place will, will dry off. Um, and the, the wall will be saved, as it were. Um, but whilst you've got this, it's trapping moisture in behind it, and the moisture is actually um, attacking the mortar. So it's producing salts, which then degrade the mortar uh, so you end up with this horrible chemical reaction constantly degrading the stone and the mortar. Uh, this was uncovered earlier today and it's already started to, to dry out and harden off. That's actually uh, gone hard to touch now, whereas it was very soft and crumbly earlier, earlier on this morning. Um, so just taking the, the paint off is actually allowing it to, to dry and it's saving the wall. So just a little quick one really folks, but uh, don't use masonry paint, whatever you do. I don't care what any of them say. If someone tries to tell you that masonry paint is breathable, don't believe them. It's like putting a plastic mac on and going for a cross country run. You get soaking wet because you've got a plastic mac on. Do not wear a plastic mac when you go cross country running. Don't put a plastic mac on your walls whether they be your house walls or your garden walls or whatever you can see everywhere here the same thing horrible plastic and if you look underneath all this horrible plastic you can see beautiful lime wash hundreds of years of lime wash and it never came off until some idiot put this blasted plastic on it Look at that, so the plastic comes off in great big sheets and it's trapping water and then underneath is that's all the plastic look so there's your plastic mat that's destroying the building and underneath it there look you've got some brickwork 
and it's trapping water into the brickwork, so the brickwork is disintegrating. You get this stuff off and you can see that the brick underneath is crumbly. That's because it's had that on. It's not brick actually, it's stone, but anyway. So there you go, and you look at that lime wash, and it might be a little bit flaky, but it's it's not disintegrating. Whereas you look at this this plastic stuff, it's bubbling and falling apart. It's horrible. Look at that. Yeah, there's your original, beautiful, historic lime wash. Hundreds and hundreds of years of it. This place was built late 1600s, I think, early 1700s. And that lime wash has been put on year on year on year, and it's fine. Until Wally came along and painted it with this stuff. So there you go.